Okay, what's next? My star guest, Rose Cook Monk, not only the founder of the Duncan Edwards Foundation, she's also written a play about Duncan called Keeping the Dream Alive. First, here's a short scene I filmed at the launch of the play in the Mayor's Parlour a few months ago. Tracy Smith is playing the role of Sarah Edwards, Duncan's mother. Duncan! Duncan Edwards! Are I telling you again about kicking that ball with your school shoes on? <sighs> Always a kicking summit. You know we could kick a ball before we could walk? Oh yes. I'd put the reins on him. And I had Gladstone and put the ball in front on him and he'd kick it. Yes. Always love football as I don't. And if he don't have a ball, he'd kick anything. We'd never got any paper in our lobby, you know. He used to get it and he used to make it really tight. Wrap it tight in a ball. And he'd be kicking that around. It makes me laugh. He'd say, Mother, where's my football? And then you'd hear our glad shout from the lobby, He's in here with me! <laughs> then, on the way to school, he'll kick a brick or a bottle, anything. He's never got any toes in his shoes. No, never. I'll go up to Cook's at the top of High Street, and they say, Mrs. Edwards, you ain't buying some more shoes again, am ya? Well, he grows out of them quick enough. Yes. Head and shoulders above all the other lads is my boy. And joining me now is Rose Cook Monk, the creator of Keeping the Dream Alive. How are you, Rose? Hi, John. I'm good. How are you? I'm good, but uh, I was just looking at the diary and re realising that this was the week when we should have been watching your play. Yes, opening night should have been last night. So, of course, it was um, yesterday I just wondered what we would be doing now. And, and this morning when I woke up, I thought, oh, gosh, I wonder what people would have thought. But it's, it's just the way that it is and... Um, we're safe and that's the main thing and we're following the guidelines and we're going to show it next year now so it's something to look forward to at the end of all this absolutely so you've managed to postpone it until next year and tell me have you got a date we have we i, I really wanted it to be february 21st because obviously that's the um the anniversary of when duncan died but it was a sunday and not such a good day so it's the 22nd so it's it's just the day afterwards and and that Munich, the anniversary of Munich will have already happened. And of course, the anniversary of, of Harry Gregg's funeral too. So it will be very, very poignant, I think. The whole Duncan Edwards story, of course, is very sad. But what's, he, what's extra sad for me is the fact there's no Duncan Edwards, well, very little Duncan Edwards footage that we can actually watch of him playing or behind the scenes. And your play is very much going to be bringing him to life for real. It is. Um, and and it is very much about Duncan and and, but it's about the aftermath of the crash and how it affected his family and his friends and the club and and all the the fans and and um, of course all the babes are included in it because they they have to be of course, and it is very much dedicated to Jimmy Murphy. Jimmy really does come out as a hero in it all, as does Harry Gregg. And actually, when Harry died, I wrote a, a an extra scene. Um, and dedicated it to, to Harry. So I'm really, I can't wait for you all to see it. And I know you've got an amazing cast. We've already just seen uh, Tracy Smith, who plays the role of uh, Duncan's mother, Sarah. And later we're going to show a little clip of uh, her daughter, Isabel, who's uh, Molly Leach, or playing Molly Leach, uh, Duncan's fiance. Tell us about your cast. The cast is incredible. I mean, uh, Zach, who plays Duncan, is as soon as he walked up the, the stairs when we did the auditions, I just knew that that was the lad that I wanted for Duncan. He looks so much like the young Duncan did. They're incredible and they've done their research and they've taken the story on board. They didn't really know the story about the Busby Babes, but they've taken it to heart and really, really put their heart and soul into it. And, and it's so touching and so real, you know, that it's... Um, 
like I said, I can't. I just can't wait for you all to see it. I'm looking forward to it enormously, and I'd like to say a personal thank you to you because not only have you written the play, you've you're also the founder of the Duncan Edwards Foundation. You do a lot for Duncan. I do. It's um, I always describe him as the friend that I haven't met yet, and and I kept a promise to his mom that. I'd keep Duncan's name alive and, and I've done that for 20 years and I will keep doing it. He, He's part of our family, you know, my boys grew up knowing who Duncan was and now my grandchildren are doing the same. Equally, as a foundation, we have to thank you too because I'm thrilled to, you know, to acknowledge the fact that you, you've joined us and you're one of our directors now and you've already done so much for us and I know that together and with the rest of, of the team that we've got, Duncan and the Babes are never going to be forgotten and I really have to thank you for that. And I thank you Rose, it's a great honour to be uh, involved and to be on your on your board. And I just want you to tell me about what you're doing on Friday. Friday, it, Monday um, was uh, the National Museums Week and, and our museum that we have here in Dudley is, is my collection really of memorabilia that I've collected over the years that people have so kindly given us. And I wanted to be able to show people that haven't been to the museum yet just what we've got. We've got a couple of personal uh, pieces that belong to Duncan, the, the coins that was in his pocket when the crash happened, and his Worcestershire schoolboy tie that I have, treasured possessions of mine, and how we've improved it since people that have been last visited. We've changed it a lot, and it's looking really good, and I'm, I'm really proud of it. And as we're all in lockdown and we can't, no one can come and visit. I just wanted to bring it to the fans to show them what we're doing. And over the years, you've raised an awful lot of money for charity. And again, on Friday, you're going to raise some more money. I am. This is um, a really special to, to me and Andy because we are raising money for Steve Donoghue's NHS fund. As we all know, um, Steve is a, a huge part of the United family. And he's just come home from hospital. I shared the video of him the other day coming home. It was really emotional to see him. Um, Steve's done a lot for our foundation as well and has been a huge supporter. When we went over to Munich for the 60th anniversary, we went, we went to the Bayern Munich Stadium with him and he was brilliant with us. So we wanted to give something back to Steve. So we've had commissioned a piece of artwork called Duncan in a Thousand Words. And we're asking people to donate five pounds into Steve's daughter's uh, pot of money that she'd already collected. And you can have your name included in this wonderful piece of artwork for, of Duncan. And it, it's dedicated to Steve Donahue. That's amazing. I'd like to uh, put my name forward to, uh, to be on it as well. And I'll, I'll send you a donation. And another little thing, it's only a small thing, but I'm going to say to the first three people, who share this video and also pledge to uh, donate to your to your fund, uh, they'll get a free pass to watch my uh, latest film, The Religion. That's great. And they're in for a treat as well. It's excellent. Every, every Manchester United fan should have that film of yours. So get by in, folks. It's wonderful. <laughs> That's very kind of you. As you know, the, the, the follow-up film is going to be featuring Duncan Edwards and Harry Gregg and... Uh, Tribute also to Jimmy Murphy and uh, the whole Busby scene and uh, what you do, guys do and people like the MMF and uh, the Association of Former Man United Players. It's, uh, it's going to be about you know, supporting and keeping the dream alive, but my title is We Will Never Die and keeping the memory alive of these guys is uh, very much what we're all trying to do. Absolutely. They, they built the club to what it is today, I believe, and I know a lot of the Reds do too, so they can't be forgotten. And the likes of Jimmy Murphy and Harry Gregg can't be forgotten. And that's what we all do. That's absolutely fantastic. And as I said, we're going to show now uh, a clip from the launch when uh, Isabel Smith, playing the role of Molly Lynch, the fiancé of Duncan, uh, made a very powerful little performance. And uh, we're going to see that now. And I just want to say thank you, Rose, for joining me on the show and for all the work that you do. And good luck on Friday. Thank you very much, John. And thank you for having me on. Thank you. Take care. And here is that clip from Duncan's fiancé, Molly Leach, played by Isabel Smith. I can't lose Duncan. I can't. I couldn't believe it when I heard the news. I left work, panicked. 
I ran straight from the tram stop, I took off my shoes and ran. I'd seen the billboard. I think I stopped breathing when I ran into the kitchen and saw my mum sat there crying. That's when she said that Duncan was alive. He was injured, but he was okay. I flew out from Ringway Airport, the very place that we met. So alone and so frightened. Someone met me and took me straight to the hospital. Can't remember their name. Sarah and Gladstone were already there. Poor Sarah, she was beside herself. And then I saw him. My Duncan. My beautiful, handsome Duncan. Bad and bruised. So, he's so sad that the lads haven't come to see him. But we can't tell them. We can't. The doctors say it'd be too much for him. And our friends, our wonderful friends, who we've shared our dreams with, our hopes, our lives with, they've gone. She was pregnant. And Roger didn't even know. Oh, he's so kind. He's so handsome. And his accent. I love his accent. The lads take the mickey, but they're only teasing. He laughs with them. He's so proud of his accent. I love coming back to Dudley with him on the Priory where he lives. Sarah makes us our dinners and he'll see the kids kicking the ball out in the street and he'll go always have a kick about with them. He's great with them. And he's going to be such a lovely daddy. Wow, makes me emotional every time I watch that. I noticed a few comments coming in from people who want to uh, donate to the, uh, the fund that uh, Rose is uh, raising money for, which is the National Health Service Fund in tribute to Steve Donoghue. You can find all the details on Duncan Edwards Foundation Facebook page. I'll also uh, be putting uh, details in the link when I get to uh, share this, well, when I get to save this video after it's gone live, because it will be here for, uh, for posterity. So. Uh, Contact the Duncan Edwards Foundation via the Facebook page or contact me or contact Rose Cook Monk if you know her and uh, we'll get it sorted. Okay, I can see there's still people watching and thank you very much. Thank you again for watching. I'm just going to play out with uh, the Malta Reds Calypso. It's actually an extended version of a scene from the, uh, the film, The Religion, 60 Years of Loyal Support, the film about the oldest Manchester United supports club in the world. And I thank you all you guys who are following me and have been watching this uh, live show tonight. Thank you very much. And uh, this one's dedicated to, uh, to Donna. I hope you've had a good day today. Basically, we've written a song about the Malta Reds. And my friend here is going to sing it to you. I'm going to try and join in. <laughs> and we're going to have to read it because... Thanks. We're going to have to read it. We've only just learnt it. I only wrote it the other day. This is for Sir Joe and all of you. I'll join in the chorus. Tony, is it all right then? Now football is a pleasant game. Played in the sun and he played in the rain. But there's a place that's in the sun where the United is loved by everyone. It started back in 58 Where the Busby babes, they were truly great The Malta Reds are united The team that gets them excited Is Manchester United Oh, Malta Reds Malta Reds united A bunch of bouncing Malta Reds Oh, Sir Joe, we got knighted Whenever they're playing in your town, the Malta Reds will be in the ground. 
Whenever the Reds play near or far, the Molten Reds will be at the bar. The Molten Reds, the Molten Reds United, a bunch of bouncing Molten Reds. I said, Yo, we got knighted. <laughs> There is one thing that can be sure After 60 years and for many more The branch will always carry on That's for sure I was a little surprised for you oh, lovely. Today we've been toured around by our friends and it's been debatable by us all whether he did a great job or not. But now, today, we have confirmed him. Steve Donoghue, Manchester United, Culture Tour leader. Thank you very much. All, all I can say is, we're just ordinary Salford Reds and we like to try and help people where we can. You know, we don't ask for anything. When we have a reunion, it's all done for free. When we give the scarves away in Munich, it's all done for free. <coughs> we don't ask for anything, we don't give anything. We just give our love and our support for our club. Thank you very much for today. I'm sorry it wasn't brilliant. Thank you. Are you in Munich next year? No. I've got something special for you as well. I'll have to post. Cheers, Tony. Could somebody possibly share it with us so I can yes, show yeah, myself yeah, off? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tony Eason, no? That's the one, yeah. <laughs> the salt of Thank you. Well known along this road. Yeah. I've been in the pub, yeah, I'm, going, yeah. I'm going back <laughs> in there now. Yeah, yeah. Can I take one with Tony. you, Tony? Yeah. Thanks yeah. Steve's asked me to do this. I go in that pub, I live on this road, I live around here. And I said to, I said, Steve, people know me around here. And I'm going to, I think <laughs> if I busk, I busk in the city centre or somewhere. Oh, I go wow. busk, if it's charity, I do it for, not for myself. But I do all of this. And I'm on this road where I, where I live. Yeah. And people know me, I'm going to think, oh my God. My God, what is he up to now? <laughs>